Again, Dr. Anthony VT, your expert burial analyst, licensed global coach, and your directional strategist maximizing your full potential. As you can see on the board today, our acronym is the word WORTH. What does WORTH mean? Well, as easy as this, sufficiently good. What is the context? Product. We've been talking in this series in a few sessions about how your product is so key to your existence and your success of becoming a successful businessman. Because also we know that successful business leads to financial freedom. So we spoke about create the first time and in the creation was how do you create your product and what are the ramifications, what are the considerations and then that think tank of bringing it into fruition, bringing that idea into creation. Then we went and we spoke about scope. What is the scope of your product? How far will it stretch? How wide will it go? And what is the intention of the product? Then we spoke about honing, honing a skill. That means honing that product and reproducing and reproducing and sharpening it until the product is presentable to the market to your satisfaction. Then we spoke about teach. Teaching the product actually can communicate to people. Your product speaks to people till eventually they hear your voice. And then now we're coming to the last point and that is that we are going to speak about worth. The last one before this was teach and it is teaching you that your product adds value and now we're speaking about worth. The worth of being sufficiently good. Question to you, is your product sufficiently good? We'll see. It all depends on what the people will say. So, if you and I are doing a fantastic job, if our product is sufficiently good, if it is of worth, the first letter in the acronym is the W for wealth. That will be the result. If your product is well chosen, correctly placed, and dis disseminated off, you and I will find that we will accumulate wealth. There's nothing wrong in wanting to be wealthy. Because if you have wealth, you've got so much more to give others. So I want to invite you into this process as we've been busy with sales and now we move to product of utilizing these skills to go to the next level. You may have been over here, you want to go to the next level. In fact, you want to maximize your full potential as you look at your worth. Now worth also comes to self-worth. Because if your self-worth is at the right place, you will also find that you are at a point where you can produce wealth. There's no ways that these two can get confused. You have to be at a place of worth so that you can produce wealth. It doesn't happen by accident. It happens because you are focused and you're getting the job done. That's what you and I have to do. Because we want wealth. Nothing wrong with that. How beautiful is it to become a philanthropist where you just give and give and give. In fact, I want to challenge you. There is no ways that you can outgive your creator. Try it. Test it. Of course you can't because he gives you the ability to amass wealth and yes the beauty about when you have wealth at your hands you become sufficiently good to others your product that you have available is adding value i so so desire for you that your product be it an online product be it, be it that you are the product be it that you are, have a retail outlet and you have got a small product that your product will really really have the people talking about the worth that it, is ha it has in, in, the, in the market. Okay, so we've had wealth. Now what about the O? As we look at this acronym here, the O is open. Open for business. Let's talk about a coffee shop. You cannot expect to do turnover if you do not open the doors and say, welcome in. I mean, if the sign is not turned, open for business, people cannot come in. That means that your product is not available. If you're in a retail store, open your doors. Open it up. The same if you have literally sold a box of cookies. Until they open it, they cannot taste the beauty and the ingredients of what you've produced. So be open for business. But you know where it starts? Open-mindedness. If your mind is not open, there is no way you're going to go to the maximum level. So I actually want you to come to a personal place of worth. If your product has to be good enough, you have to be good enough. So what you want to do is to open your mind and go to the next level. And what if you don't think that you've got your full potential yet? If you haven't reached your full potential yet, get yourself, hire yourself a coach. For heaven's sake, so many people say, please will you mentor me? But you know what? They want it for free. And because it's for free, 
you don't excel to the next level. But when you put your hard-earned money on the line and you stand in that gap and say, I will go to the next level of worth, you've become open-minded to next level thinking because it's all about mindset and changing your mind. So often, people look at the product and want to criticize the product, but you are the product that has to change. You have to go to the next level. So I want to say to you, do whatever it takes, but make a difference in your life. Stop just living and being mediocre. You want to go next level. So we're talking about the acronym of worth. We've had wealth. If your product is great, if it's awesome, you will produce wealth. If you open your doors and say, I'm open for business, you have to have results. Now we're going to go to the R. This plays a role in terms of how far and how wide you will go. It has to do with the word range. That's right. W, wealth. O, open. R, for range. Your range will determine how far and beyond, in other words, what is the sustainability of the product, how far and beyond you will go. It's all up to you. You can choose to have one product and believe that your one product is sufficient, but then it better be the best of the best of the best. But we've often found that you may have to just expand your range as long as what? Oh, I hope you can answer this before I even ask the question. As, as long as what? As long as it aligns with your original vision. So many people get sidetracked. They get into the stream of momentum, get so excited, and they start adding a lot of things that are not what they stand for. And if you stand for anything, you will fail. I can tell you now. But if you have done that, please don't be discouraged. You're still a person of worth. You get knocked down, but you get up again. If you fail, Dr. John C. Maxwell says, if you fail, please fail forward. Take a bit of ground, because as you fail, make progress, because failure is the next step to progress. So I invite you to actually make those mistakes, because otherwise you'll never know what potential lies within you, so that you can literally see what is the range that you can produce. So the range is not only in the product that you have got on the market, the range is also in your ability. What range do you cover? But again. What is your calling? What is your passion? What is your purpose? Make sure that it's crystal, crystal clear. Yes, I said calling, I said passion, I said purpose. Those are three different things. Go and work it out. You are a person of worth and you have to know what the difference is between those three. Your calling, your passion and your purpose. We will get to that in a later session. But for now, what range are you in? It's like when you're driving a vehicle, first gear, second gear, third gear. But I can tell you now, for certain vehicles, when you get to overdrive, that's when the beauty kicks in. Everything runs 100% and literally the engine purrs like a kitten. That's right. You want that sound. You want that effect. Make sure that you're in the right range. Now, we've had the W for wealth. We've had the O, open, R for range. What is the T for? This is one critical factor and you know, I always will have in the nucleus one word in that acronym that's going to change everything when it comes to product. This one thing is vital. And it's the word. Can you guess it? Come on, who can guess it? Yes, if you got it right, well done. It's the word turn, stock turn. Without stock turn, you are a dead duck in the water because you can't have your, your, your product sitting on a shelf forever and ever and ever and not go anywhere. In fact, you also have stock rotation. If your product is on the shelf and you just keep on putting the new product in front, new product in front, and the old one goes to the back, well, in terms of age analysis, it's logic. If it is a consumable, the one at the end eventually will get stale. When it's stale, you can't sell it, you can't make profit, you can't produce wealth, which means you don't have worth, which means you're not sufficiently good. Can you see it's just a chain event of reaction? Therefore, you have to understand stock turn is vital. So always, even though it's extra work, and this is what people hate, like putting in something in a refrigerator, that you have to put something in the back and the new stock has to come in. You have to literally unpack it and repack it so that you can put the new stock at the back. That's what you call wisdom. Because at the end of the day, it's about profit. We'll get to that in another section. This is about your product and being sufficiently good. You want to make sure that you have effective stock turn. How many times can you turn your stock in a year? How many times can you turn your stock in a month? How many times can you turn your stock in a week? How many times can you turn the same stock in a day? That's going to determine your liquidity. When we get to the other pillar of 
talking about the business edge we're going to talk about profit and then we will actually take stock turn to the next level right now we've spoken about product before this we spoke about sales and in the future we'll speak about profit so make sure that your stock turn is absolutely healthy if you don't know what it means study swat it up so by the time i come to teach it you know what i'm talking about so in this acronym the last one is the letter h what will the h stand for the h stands for honor i believe there needs to be honor in the way how we deal with our customers does our product communicate honor does our product communicate that we are honorable in the way that we present ourselves you know if we have a product on the market and you know that you have way outpriced yourself but you also know that you're the only supplier i believe that's raping the market that is not true you will not be blessed long term people will find you out be reasonable make sure that the price is in line make sure it equates to the value that you would like it to have so please don't overprice your product obviously certain products because of supply and demand will be more expensive but that's okay because the person looking for that specific product will pay for it but the generic product range come on there is a, a logical balanced approach in terms of how much should be take a basic commodity like bread if you start outpricing yourself in the market with bread who, who are you kidding you're killing the economy because you're actually robbing people don't do that yes make your profit I'm sure we're in business to make profit, but we do not have to kill our customers. So there has to be honor in how you price your product. I really want to speak to you from my heart, from my heart to your heart. And I want to ask you, be honorable. Because if you're honorable, you're giving the economy a chance to survive. Here's the truth as we speak on product. 96% of businesses will never see 10 years. That's right. If you've just started up your business, if your product has just been launched, I want to tell you only 4% will make it beyond 10 years. My wish for you is to take the principles that you've been learning on sales and now on product, implement them, put them into action, apply them so that you will be sufficiently good. That's right. So that you will have a position of worth. Remember, learn every day, lead yourself, inspire others. This is Dr. Anthony VT. Until we talk again.